A little bit of Night Champions music. I like that theme song. Um, a lot of people don't like Kevin Rudolph's music, but I like it anyways. But, um, hey guys, this is Larger with another video, and this right here is my WWE Night Champions 2012 predictions, for it, which will explain why I play the theme song. That's a little intro, I guess. Whatever. But, um, this pay per view is this Sunday. Um, um, my head's, my head is pretty high for this pay per view event. Um, all that stuff can go down. I mean, there's a whole lot of stuff that can go both ways, you know, on this card. So, this thing is not definitely one-sided, but the whole Sheamus and Alberto the Rio, that's one-sided for damn sure. But, um, yeah, the rest of the stuff is like, basically, it, it can go any way, in my opinion. So, first off, we got the pre-show, which I'm looking pretty much forward to, because a whole lot of my, my favorite mid-carders will be on that show. So we have a battle royal for uh for you know a shot at the United States Championship with Antonio Cesaro. Um I'm gonna pick out a couple of random guys that I think is gonna win the match. Uh, Trimperata. You know, Trimperata can definitely win this matchup. I know that sounds weird that I said that, but Trimperata can actually win this matchup. Uh get a shot at T Antonio Cesaro. It'll be a good match. Trent is a damn good wrestler. And uh, it was said far back that they were considered giving this guy a mid-card title push. But uh, they never fell through it. Here's the opportunity to do it now. I mean, he's not on NXT that much anymore. I know he's on like the live shows and all that crap. He had a damn good match with Kasha Zono, um, Richie Steamboat, and Leo Kruger. That's for damn sure um, Friday night. And I think he won it too. I'm not for sure. But uh, Friday night he had a damn good match with those boys though. But um, Trent Barretta is a damn good wrestler, and I think he should get the shot. Uh, another guy, Ted DiBiase. You know, he can come back from injury and win this thing, which I think I'm really going with. But the only thing is, I don't want Ted DiBiase to come back off an of injury, off a hot streak before the injury, just to come back and do the job of Cesaro. So to me, if he wins the Battle Royal, then goes on to face Cesaro, Cesaro has to beat him dirty. He has to. Uh, and another guy... Last guy, I think that's going to, well, two other guys, I think, that, that might win the shot. Evan Bourne, I mean, this could be the time that he returns. He can get the shot. He's been teasing, uh, you know, a match with Cesaro on Twitter. Um, so he could win the belt. I right, can win the shot. I see Cesaro. You know, Cesaro and Bourne will have a damn good match. I mean, you know, Beretta, damn good match, too. And um, DiBiase, damn good match, too. Um, and yeah, and then lastly, Santino Morello. Santino Morello will probably win this battle royal and probably go on to face Cesaro. But sadly, it doesn't matter who wins this battle royal because they're going to lose to Cesaro anyways. So that's my final prediction for it all. The winner is going to be somebody, mainly one of those four guys I named. Um... They're going to go on to face Cesaro, and they're going to lose. So, that's my opinion on that. D.B. though, might be lucky. He might, Cesaro might beat him cleanly. I mean, dirty. So, that's my thoughts on that. Uh, the next, we have the Divas title. They have Caitlyn versus Layla. Uh, I see this match going both ways, but, um, you know, Caitlyn, you know, they're giving us some matches on TV. I think it's good. Caitlyn is a talented and pretty sexy diva. So, and Layla, she's just gorgeous as always. And they got Eve Torres in like in the middle of this. So, I don't know what the hell they're going to do with this afterwards. But I hope it's, it leads up to more exposure with the Divas division. Because I think that's what that needs. Instead of like five, ten minute matches. Kind of like the other one. But, I mean, it felt pretty good though. Because you had more Divas involved. So, I mean, that was pretty good. But um, I think they should get the Divas more involved and stuff. I mean, this is to start something new here. And um, I look forward to Layla, uh, Caitlyn, and Beth Phoenix match on SmackDown that uh, a whole lot of people were raving over. So, And plus, Natalya finally won a match on Superstars. Uh, she beat Alicia Fox. Uh, so, yeah, finally, Natalya to Natalya fans. I think Natalya's a sexy, thick diva. But anyways, um... Off topic here, but I'm uh, I'm going with Layla on this one. Despite the stuff going on with Caitlyn, I think Layla's gonna win this. I think Eve is probably gonna eventually beat her for the belt or something like that. 
But uh, I definitely don't see Caitlyn beating Layla for the belt, especially if the whole reason why she in this position it, it was a botch. So I definitely don't see Caitlyn winning the belt. Um, next we have a fatal four-year match for the Intercontinental Championship. We have The Miz defending against Cody Rhodes, uh, Sin Cara, and Rey Mysterio. This match should be damn good. It should be. Um, you got Cody Rhodes and The Miz and Sakara and Rey Mysterio. This match should be good. You know they're going to like do this whole 2-1-2 two -two thing. Um, despise what happened Monday night between Cody and The Miz. And I think, you know, because I think The Miz is going to retain anyways. Um, I think they should follow through with Cody Rhodes and The Miz. I think that should be a good feud. It'd be, it'd be a good hot-heated one. For the Intercontinental Championship. That'll make it, you know, a plus. So I'm definitely looking forward to this. But uh, I see the Miz wins. Um, and I don't know. Maybe a face turn for him or Cody Rhodes in the future. I don't know. Um, uh, Ryback filler match. Ryback's going to win that anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> Hell, he might be in a battle royal early on that night, but I, I doubt it. If he's not going to win the belt, then I doubt it. So, yeah. I don't think Cesaro's going to win the belt. Take it from Santino and just lose it to Ryback the next month. No, I don't see that happening. But, um, yeah. Um, next, we have uh, Randy Orton versus Dolph Ziggler in a prompt two match. Uh, this, should be, this should be damn good, too. I'm, I'm saying damn good a whole lot tonight. Hashtag damn good. Um, but, uh, yeah, this should be a damn good match. Dolph Ziggler. Uh, Dolph Ziggler has to win this matchup. And I'm going with Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler has to win this matchup. Because if this is going to be like Randy Orton's last match or so. Before he goes on to shoot 12 rounds. I mean, why, would he, why should he win and just disappear from off of television for a while? It makes no sense. So have Ziggler win. Then after the match... Maybe Ziggler gets too big for his bridges and beats the heck out of Randy Orton with the money in the bank briefcase. Write him off of television and, you know, have him do the movie. Saranara Orton. Ziggler has to win this match, and I think Ziggler will win this matchup. So, there you have it. Uh, then we have the World Heavyweight Championship match. Alberto Del Rio versus Sheamus. <sighs> WWE, please. Let this be the last fucking match between these two. I am so tired of Alberto Del Rio and Sheamus both. Right now, it doesn't even make any sense. Sheamus is like one of the most born champions. I mean, he's more born than Mark Henry. And I thought Mark Henry was pretty born as champion. But my God, Mark Henry is way better than Sheamus. I mean, damn. Mark Henry is definitely better than Sheamus as, as the World's Heavyweight Champion, in my, in my opinion. Del Rio, he just he's worse than Sheamus. Oh my God! WWE's not gonna put the belt on Del Rio. Sheamus is gonna retain. They're acting like, you know, Sheamus. If Sheamus doesn't use the bro kick, he's not gonna win the match. Bump that. I mean, he's been winning matches with the Cloverleaf. So I mean, the whole storyline is stupid. This whole thing with Del Rio and Sheamus is stupid, and it has to stop. Please let this be the last match between these two. I am so tired of seeing Sheamus and Del Rio on my TV. It's ridiculous. Have Sheamus face, hopefully, Wade Barrett. Have Ziggler cash in the money in the bank at Night of Champions, which I think could happen. It could happen. So look out for Ziggler. But, um, yeah, um, it could happen. Like I said, it could happen. So watch out for Ziggler. Um, and main event, John Cena versus CM Punk for the WWE Championship in Boston, Massachusetts. This match goes in many different ways. It's gonna get, it's gonna be a good match. <clears throat> um, maybe an interference from the Big Show. I mean, where the hell has Big Show been for the last couple of weeks? The Big Show just squashed Otunga one night, and then that was it. So, um, I hope the Big Show's not in trouble in the back because I have to say. I'm not going to even lie. I mean, all the all the stuff the Big Show's been doing has been good as a heel. And I don't know, maybe they might turn on face or something. I don't know. But um, hope to see the Big Show back on TV. He's really been missed this month. 
Um. Anyways, um, John Cena, like I said, maybe an interference from the Big Show in this. I mean, you know, Punk and Paul Heyman, Big Show and Paul Heyman go way back, so maybe Big Show might run out, cause a DQ or something, which could be probably a reason why they had him off of TV. So who knows? But anyways, um, I see Paul Heyman getting involved in this. Um, I see John Cena winning this, and I see CM Punk winning with a screwy finish, since he is a full blown heel. It looks like now. Nonetheless, despite of my fear of John Cena winning the belt in his hometown and ending CM Punk's title reign, I think that CM Punk is going to hold on to the belt with the help of Paul Heyman because they're not just going to put him and Paul Heyman together for, oh, boop, see, uh, CM Punk lose the belt. I don't see that happening. I don't. So I think CM Punk is going to keep the belt here. It would make the most perfect sense for him to keep the belt. I mean, what's Cena going to do? He's going to get Punk his rematch and beat Punk and then go go on the feud with who? With who? He's beating them all. Cena's beating them all. Cena has beaten Big Show. Be Cena's beaten Del Rio. Cena's beaten Orton. Cena's beaten Brian. Not for the belt, but he's beaten Brian. I mean, Cena's beaten them all. He hasn't beaten Ziggler yet. I mean, not for the belt or anything like that, but he's beaten Ziggler before. I mean, CM Punk has not faced everybody for the belt, you know, and even if John Cena was to go on to face Ziggler or Bryan for the belt, you know, the match is going to end in the same way, so, I mean, come on, but anyways, I feel CM Punk can wrestle a good match with Rey Mysterio, that'd be a good feud, you know, pretty much revisit their 2010 rivalry, that'd be pretty good, and, and It'll be a good, hot, heated feud. Especially if Punk brought up what he did in 2010 to Ray. That would be a good, you know, hot, heated feud. So, yeah. A lot of stuff they can do with this. But, uh, these are my predictions for Night of Champions. Um, subscribe to this channel. Uh, subscribe to Team Millions of Dollars. Oh! My goodness, I forgot the match. Oh, my goodness, I forgot a match. How can I forget this one? Um, but, uh, Kane and Daniel Bryan challenging R-Truth and Kofi Kingston for the belt. I have to say, I, I like this team of Kane and Daniel Bryan. A whole lot of people don't like it. They say it's, it's too much and it's starting to be annoying, but I like it. And I have to say, I think Kane and Daniel Bryan have a shot at beating Kofi and Truth for the belt. I mean, as much as I like Kofi and Truth, I think Kofi and Truth should be in the singles competing for the belt. Instead of just, you know, um, you know, I, Truth could put over Cesaro, you know, at the next pay-per-view, at Vengeance or Hell in a Cell. I think it's Hell in a Cell. I think that's the only pay-per-view they're going with in October from now on. So, yeah, I mean, C Truth could put over Cesaro at the next pay-per-view. But, um, I do see Kane and Daniel Bryan winning the Tag Team Championships because here, here it is. If they if they didn't want Kingston and Truth, I mean, if they didn't want Brian and um Kane to win the belts, then why take the primetime players out of the spot? Hmm. Or why do this? Why put them in the match? Why put them as a tag team in the first place? It makes sense. <laughs> um. But anyways, yeah, I do see Kane and Daniel Bryan winning the belts, but I do see R Truth and Kofi Kingston winning. You know, retaining for some odd reason um but despite all that i despite all that i see kane and daniel bryan as our new tag team champions and to be quite honest with you it'll be funny so yeah these are my predictions i'm sorry for cutting off early <laughs> but um yeah this is larger another video uh representing team millions of dollars and um subscribe to team millions of dollars subscribe to little rj unlimited little rj 5150 uh, subscribe to this channel, um, and um, just log in another video in. Peace.